Exclusive Contracted Novel by Felu Novel Network Journey to the West I have been slaying demons in Sientai for three thousand years. Traveling through the West, becoming an executioner in the heavenly court slaying immortal Terrace. Faced with this opening, Zhou Yuan panicked and asked himself, as a mortal, to slay immortals. Isn't this a commotion? Fortunately, the Hongmeng Atlas has been activated. As long as you kill the living creatures and imprint them in the picture book, you can receive rewards. Ding, the host successfully killed the sinful earth immortal and obtained the innate Tao body, and, three transformations golden pill asterisk one dot. Ding, the host has successfully killed the sinful heavenly immortal and obtained the great Tao level technique. Hongmeng Ju, dot. Ding, the host successfully killed the sin demon god and obtained the innate treasure chaos clock, dot. In this way, Zhou Yuan silently eliminated demons for 3,000 years in the heavenly court immortal slaying platform. Not only did he obtain countless divine powers, spiritual pills, Taoist techniques, and treasures, but his strength had also reached the holy realm. And it wasn't until this day, 3,000 years ago, that the heavenly court said a monkey had committed the crime of defying heaven and was taken to Zhou Yuan's face Felu Novel Network reminds you that this novel and its characters are purely fictional. If there are any similarities, they are purely coincidental and should not be imitated. Chapter 1 Above the heavenly court, I am the executioner of the Sientai. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 1 Above the heavenly court, I am the executioner of the slaying immortal platform. Zhou Yuan. Zhou Yuan. It's time to get up. In a blur, Zhou Yuan heard someone greeting him. He was about to turn over and continue sleeping when he suddenly sat up. I am. Zhou Yuan covered his head, and to the people beside him, he seemed to have not woken up yet, but only he knew that there was a tumultuous change in his mind. Memory. The inexplicable memory seemed to awaken, or to be born out of thin air. In an instant, a huge amount of information washed away, making Zhou Yuan couldn't help but groan. Have I traveled? After the massive memory washed away, Zhou Yuan regained his senses, opened his mouth and closed it tightly, holding the almost blurted words in his throat. Zhou Yuan, what's wrong with you? The voice calling out to Zhou Yuan just now rang out again. It's okay, it's just a surge. Let's go. Zhou Yuan said, got up from the bed and glanced at the person next to him who was greeting him. Zhao Fang. One's own companion or one of the colleagues. From his memory, Zhou Yuan knew that the place he was currently in was extraordinary. It was the legendary gathering of immortals and gods, and the core of the three realms ruled by the heavenly emperor. The heavenly court. However, Zhou Yuan, who was in the heavenly court, was not a deity, but a mortal. A mortal who is about to serve as the executioner of the Xientai. What's going on? Zhou Yuan, who was walking on Jianmao Road, couldn't help but wonder why he was an ordinary person who could act as an executioner in the Xientai. Not only is he a mortal himself, but his predecessor before crossing over is also a mortal. Ordinary people, can they slay immortals? Zhou Yuan was confused. I am just an ordinary person, and my predecessor was also just an ordinary person. A mortal comes to the heavenly court to slay immortals. You're joking. However, as soon as I traveled through time, even if I had any questions, I knew I couldn't speak recklessly, so I had to double my efforts and review my past memories. But the predecessor was also half naive, and there were not many useful things to find from memory. Zhou Yuan had no choice but to adapt and follow Zhao Fang forward. It wasn't very far to rush from their resting place to Jianmao, but it took a while to walk there. On the way, Zhou Yuan discovered that there were a total of twelve or thirteen people in this group. So many ordinary people. Another thought flashed through Zhou Yuan's heart. Then, a fairy official came over to give a nod. As the names were pronounced one by one, Zhou Yuan, like everyone else, responded loudly without showing any special features. 
After Jian Mao, the immortal official led Zhou Yuan and others towards the work site, which was Zhangxiantai. Not long after walking, Zhou Yuan and others arrived at the entrance of a large hall. Looking up, I saw a large person written on the plaque in the main hall. If there was anything special about this character, Zhou Yuan couldn't sense it either. He just felt that the Dharma was strict and extraordinary. People. The main hall. Aren't you going to slay the immortal tower? What are you doing here? Do you want to collect some equipment first? A question flashed through Zhou Yuan's heart. But soon he knew that he had indeed arrived at the Zhangxiantai. Just, it's completely different from what he had imagined before. In Zhou Yuan's imagination, in fact, it is the description in TV dramas or novels that I have watched. Even if I behead Sendai, it should be pure and spotless, surrounded by misty white clouds, and a tall and magnificent pure white Tian men. Overall majestic and magnificent, with unparalleled glory. When it comes to slaying immortals, a heavenly army in general will crush the immortal who has violated the heavenly bar onto the slaying immortal platform, count the immortal's crimes a few times, and then shout loudly. Extract immortal bones, discard immortal roots, and knock down the mortal world. In short, there is no hint of bloody smell throughout the entire process, and there will be no terrifying scenes. However, now, just as he walked through the door, the sight that Zhou Yuan saw directly overturned his previous thoughts. I thought the executioner was just a statement, but I didn't expect that he really wanted to chop off his head. Zhou Yuan murmured to himself, his gaze sweeping over everything in front of him, and he couldn't help but tremble. Make a gate with a knife. White bones pave the way. The crimson wind and blood mist call, as if an endless ghost is emitting a curse of resentment. I don't know if it's true or false, but the howling in my ears makes my scalp tingle uncontrollably. The rows of heads hanging directly on the shelf were even more unobstructed. This is not the heavenly court, it's even more terrifying than hell. Dong. While the reason was still being observed, four or five consecutive sounds of movement were suddenly heard nearby. Looking to the side, five people were frightened and stumbled backwards, falling to the ground. Zhou Yuan. Zhao Fang, who had awakened Zhou Yuan before, also turned pale at this moment, clearly frightened. Don't be afraid, standing here, no one can resist. Moreover, after slaying immortals, if one enters the cycle of reincarnation, they can achieve ten lifetimes of wealth and prosperity. Even if one wants to become an immortal, they may not have the opportunity. This is a blessing. How many ordinary people want it but still don't have a chance? You should cherish it well. The immortal official who brought Zhou Yuan and the others over said that they had already started assigning tasks. In no time, it was Zhou Yuan's turn. Zhou Yuan, um, not bad. I remember you. You signed for three thousand years, and your courage is commendable. The immortal looked at Zhou Yuan and said so. What? Zhou Yuan was stunned for a moment. Then I found this information from my memory. My predecessor once signed a contract with the Heavenly Court, the Heavenly Dao contract, promising to work for Zhan Xiantai for three thousand years in exchange for a chance to become an immortal. Three thousand years. When Zhou Yuan saw the content of the contract that he had not noticed before, he simply froze. Can mortals live for three thousand years? Assuming there is no disease or disaster, a hundred years is considered good. And a hundred years may not necessarily work from start to finish, right? For example, Zhou Yuan is now exactly twenty years old. Calculate the time, join Zhangxiantai at the age of twenty, retire at the age of seventy, and work for fifty years during this period. If you work for three thousand years, it will also be sixty lifetimes. Reincarnation sixty times, becoming the executioner every time. Good guy, what's going on here? Of course, it may not be so unfortunate. Perhaps after joining the company, the heavenly court will issue elixirs or something, giving him a chance to live for three thousand years. I'm new here and I'm not sure what's going on, 
but now Zhou Yuan is feeling confused. All right, your mission this time is a groundbreaking Earth Immortal. Let's go and slay the Immortal platform at number 49. The Immortal official was unaware of Zhou Yuan's confusion at the moment. After praising him for his admirable courage, he said this and pointed the way for Zhou Yuan to depart. 49. Zhou Yuan found the Zhang Xian Tai where he was executing his mission. That is a platform flowing with endless Tao rhyme, with a guillotine stained with immortal blood on it. The road is mottled, and the guillotine is blood red. It looks extremely ordinary, but it contains endless killing opportunities. Even if Zhou Yuan was just an ordinary person, with no keen sense of the five senses and six consciousnesses, he could still feel the piercing pain on his back. This is Zhang Xientai. Chapter 2 Hongmeng Illustrated Guide Slash the five departments of Xientai, Heaven You are listening at Novel Full Dot Audio Chapter 2 Hongmeng Illustrated Guide Slash the five parts of the immortal platform, the heavens, earth, and people are mysterious and yellow. Crossing three steps, Zhou Yuan stepped into his armor, the 49th slash immortal platform. At this moment, a lot of information suddenly rushed into his mind. However, this time it is not a awakening, but rather information about its origin and status engraved on the Zhang Xian Tai. Unlike what Zhou Yuan had previously believed, Zhang Xian Tai was not a platform, but an execution institution of the Heavenly Court. There are five parts in total. Heaven, Earth, Man, Xian, Huang. Corresponding to gods, demons, immortals, demons, and Buddhas. Tian Zi Hao Zhang Xian Tai, dedicated to slaying gods. A place name, dedicated to slaying demons. Ren Zi Hao, Zhang Xian. Xian Zi Hao, Slay Demons. Yellow name, Slay Buddha. Each part corresponds to a corresponding ownership, without any confusion. As for why it is called Zangxiantai despite having five parts, the significance is really unclear, and of course, Zhou Yuan has no intention of exploring it now. He just continued to sense many inscriptions on the slaying immortal platform, so that every newly hired executioner could understand the basic information of this heavenly institution. The immortal official who assigned tasks to Zhou Yuan and his team before was the supervisor who beheaded the Xientai. But he won't step into the Zhang Xientai. When an executioner steps onto the beheading platform, it becomes isolated from the outside world, almost like a closed world where outsiders can hardly glimpse what is happening. And what the executioner needs to do is to kill the criminal, bring his head to the main hall, report it to the executioner, and put it on the corresponding shelf, this is also why Zhou Yuan and his team first saw rows of heads when they stepped into the human character hall before. At the same time, Zhou Yuan also knew what the meaning of the plaque in the main hall was, which was engraved with the character, person. Heaven, earth, and people are dark yellow. Among the five departments of Zhangxiantai, this character department is responsible for Zhangxian, which is also the most unique. Here, only pure human beings can act as executioners. And every person who steps into the Zhangxiantai for the first time and wants to be in charge of killing must be immortal. If you have cultivation, you can't go up. Only humans with pure bloodline can slay immortals. Because immortals are transcendent and have unique positions, killing immortals is to be tainted by the world of mortals. Unlike gods, Buddhas, and demons, the human race is the protagonist of heaven and earth, with a natural destiny to suppress outsiders. Moreover, they themselves are rolling in the mortal world, so there is no need to be afraid of these mortal world killings and causes. So, you can use gods and immortals to slay demons, and Buddha to slay demons, but you cannot use them to slay immortals. Only people can do it. Pure-blooded humans have no taboos. Therefore, in the heavenly court John Xientai Heaven, Earth, and People Xianhuang five sections, there are figures of the human race, while in the human character section, only pure human races exist. That's also why all the colleagues Zhou Yuan saw this time were ordinary people. However, 
as long as he successfully takes charge of the slaying immortal platform and cultivates in the future, there is no limit. Only when he first goes up, he must be immortal. Are there so many immortals in the heavenly court who have violated the Tiantiao? Just adding a dozen at a time. Zhou Yuan couldn't quite understand, after all, according to the previous supervisor's statement, the immortal who went to the immortal slaying platform couldn't have the ability to resist. Because when assigning tasks, we had already given every penny according to the four levels of heaven, earth, and dark yellow, so there would be no mistakes. Hmm. Within the Xientai, the executioners also hold different levels of power. Universe Flood Level 4 Under the Heavenly Immortal, the Yu-level executioner can execute. Under the Xian Xian, the Zhou-level executioner can execute. Under the Golden Immortal, there is a Flood Level. Below the Great Luo, there is a Wasteland Level. From an information perspective, it is clear that these four levels are clear. On top of this, there are also other divisions, but they are no longer the talk of the universe, as if they are specialized entities independent of the Xianhuang Five Ministries of Heaven, Earth, and Man in Zhangxiantai. The information that Zhou Yuan can obtain from now is not explicitly stated, only vaguely mentioned. It seems that there are no such people in the Xian Tai anymore. The five parts of Heaven, Earth, and Humanity are mysterious and yellow. Universe Flood Level 4 This is the basic structure of the Tianting Zhangxiantai today. It was only after understanding this information that Zhou Yuan understood from the subsequent information why the criminals on the beheading platform were unable to resist, while the beheading platform occasionally required additional manpower. The reason is not that all the senior colleagues have retired. But it's because the executioner on the Xientai also carries professional risks. The first risk is that those who are killed are still immortals, even those who cannot resist will generate evil energy after being killed. And this kind of evil energy is difficult for outsiders to intervene and help clear, it can only be fought by the executioner himself. There are only two ways to combat evil energy. One is to have a hard life, and the other is to achieve success in one's own cultivation. If one's fate is not strong enough, the first time they kill an immortal, they will have an accident and cannot wait until later. If one's cultivation speed is not fast enough and progress is not great enough, they will eventually be destroyed by the evil energy of the dead fairy and fall. In summary, having a hard life is the initial capital, and the relationship between the executioner's cultivation and the killing of immortals and evil energy afterwards is the relationship between the dam and the flood. Floods will continue to rise, and if the dam reinforcement is not timely enough, it will be the result of rampant floods, dam damage, and human death. The first risk belongs to natural force majeure, and the second risk is human robbery. The immortal who violated the Tiantia will go up to the Xientai and have their bodies separated. It is true that they cannot seek revenge, but they still have close friends and master disciple channels. These people cannot prove that they violated the Tiantiao and cannot hold a grudge against the heavenly court. However, they can vent their grievances on the executioner. When will you seize the opportunity to be ruthless? Before being employed in the Xientai, you were still a mortal executioner. How could you resist the existence that has already been cultivated into an immortal by yourself? The executioner is a chance and opportunity for ordinary people in this world to make progress but this opportunity is also full of infinite risks. No wonder being a Xientai executioner can offer a promise of ten lifetimes wealth and prosperity. The salary is not high, and no one is willing to come. With a sigh, Zhou Yuan didn't think much either. Not to mention that he came through this journey, there is actually nowhere to go. The three thousand year contract signed by the predecessor is not something that can be violated arbitrarily. Otherwise, the immortal slaying platform can slay immortals, Buddhas, demons, and demons, but not necessarily cannot slay people. Even if it doesn't match the high.end experience of visiting Xientai, it's not fun to make a note of it in the six paths of reincarnation. After sensing various information, Zhou Yuan took a deep breath and accepted reality. 
Then he heard the clanging sound of iron chains dragging the ground. But the immortal he wanted to kill has arrived. A earthly immortal. The other party did not have any free will or the ability to move freely. After entering, they straightened out and lay under the guillotine. Sigh. Zhou Yuan stood on the side, walked twice, and finally gave a push. Click. The head falls to the ground. Slash the immortal platform, Scarlet adds one more point. Ding, the host has successfully killed the immortal Sin, and the Hongmeng illustrated book has been opened. Chapter 3 People Can Slay Immortals The Highest Holy Body of the Human Race You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 3 People Can Slay Immortals The Highest Holy Body of the Human Race Hongmeng Illustrated Guide after Zhou Yuan killed the earthly immortal, he suddenly heard this sound and his heart immediately shook, followed by surprise. Golden finger. Simple and rough, standard across time. Listening to the sound that seemed like the heavenly sound of the great road, Zhou Yuan's mind suddenly turned and began to sense the purpose of the so dot called Hongmang Illustrated Mirror. As a result, my mind suddenly turned and I had an extra book in my hand. Turning to the first page, it's really a guidebook. What is revealed on the picture book is not anything else, but the information of the earth immortal that Zhou Yuan Gang just killed. Name Wen Tongji Subordinate Immortal Cultivation Earth Immortal Divine Powers Five Elements Taoism, Fire Escape, Heavenly Fire Sword Technique Magic Weapon None Life a young and virtuous person who has been practicing for 500 years and has become an immortal. He joined the heavenly court as a judge under the Bisha supervisor. He stole the heavenly horse, violated the heavenly rule, and was executed at the 49 Dao terraces of the Xiantai Human Department. Looking at the picture book, it doesn't really have much meaning, it just allows you to view some information about the immortals who were killed by Zhou Yuan, such as magical powers, treasures, and past lives. However, it seems that the magic weapon is not there. I don't know if it was originally not there, or if it had already been confiscated before I went to slay the immortal platform. However, Zhou Yuan's focus at this moment was no longer on this, but on carefully reading several times about the past life of the first immortal he killed. From this, Zhou Yuan can actually obtain some information that cannot be obtained from other channels. However, this is not the key at the moment. The key is that from this review of the Hongmeng Illustrated Mirror, Zhou Yuan learned about his abilities in this guidebook. Simply put, any living creatures that have been slain by Zhou Yuan, whether they are gods, Buddhas, demons, or demons, will be recorded in the Hongmeng Illustrated Mirror. As for arrangement, the higher the rank, the lower the cultivation level, and the higher the cultivation level, rather than simply ranking in order. Furthermore, the transformation of the guidebook into a book form is only a manifestation of Zhou Yuan's subconscious thoughts, rather than its essence. It should be said that the Hongmeng illustrated mirror itself is invisible and only a natural rule condensed on Zhou Yuan, immersed in his consciousness. Therefore, Although Zhou Yuan is now flipping through the illustrated mirror, in reality, outsiders cannot see the Hongmeng illustrated mirror in Zhou Yuan's hands. This is extremely important. Gold finger, of course, it's better to be hidden. After sensing the basic information and functions of the guidebook, Zhou Yuan quickly focused his attention on another key point. It can also be said that it is the most essence of the whole Hongmeng atlas. That is, after completing the mission of slaying immortals and imprinting it in the guidebook, Zhou Yuan can gain benefits from it. Slaying immortals is a task, but imprinting the Hongmeng illustrated mirror, Zhou Yuan can reap rewards from it. If it weren't for this, the Hongmeng illustrated book would be a simple playbook, even if it's a bit strange, it's not worth taking seriously. At this moment, the reward for Zhou Yuan after completing his first mission of slaying immortals is already in front of him. There are two types of rewards. First. Three transformations of the golden elixir. Secondly, the human race has an innate Tao body. 
The golden elixir goes without saying, it is a precious medicine that immortals can refine by incorporating heaven and earth spiritual mechanisms into spiritual materials. And between the golden elixir and the golden elixir, they are also different. The so dot called, one turn of the golden pill and one heavy sky, refers to the number of patterns on this golden pill, and its effectiveness varies greatly. As legend has it, the Supreme Old Lord personally refined the Nine Transformations Golden Pill with nine Tao patterns in the Dolid Palace. After the completion of the pill, it can bring life to the dead and white bones, which is just a basic effect, taking one grain and achieving immortality on the spot is the true terror. The three-turn golden pill that Zhou Yuan has obtained from the Hongmang Illustrated Mirror is not as powerful as the nine-turn golden pill, but it is also a rare artifact. At least as an ordinary immortal, it is also rare. As for ordinary mortals, it takes a great opportunity to even take a glance. Now Zhou Yuan is a mortal, and he is still a mortal serving as the executioner in a place full of crisis, such as the Xiantai Human Character Department. Having become the executioner on the immortal slaying platform, one not only needs to consider the possibility of being killed and retaliating against the relatives and friends of the immortal slaying immortal, but also has to worry about not progressing enough in cultivation, not being able to suppress the immortal slaying chi, and facing the crisis of being chased to death in life. These two crises were not known to Zhou Yuan before he went to the Xiantai and even naively thought that he might need to deliberately complete a three-dot-year contract in sixty lifetimes. In fact, if you want to have bad luck and die every time you kill one, it may take 600 to 6,000 reincarnations and you won't be able to complete the contract of 3,000 years of work. That's the real pit dad. To be honest, Zhou Yuan is also under a lot of psychological pressure. If it weren't for having nowhere to go and signing the Heavenly Way contract, it wouldn't be possible to run away. It's uncertain that Zhou Yuan would have had other thoughts. Suddenly, I opened the Hongmang illustrated book and obtained the Three Transformations Golden Pill, which was truly a timely help. Although these three turns of golden pills in my hand do not have the terrifying effect of the nine turns of golden pills personally refined by the legendary Supreme Lord, which can soar in place when consumed, after being fully absorbed, there should still be no problem of becoming an immortal on the spot. Even if it's just the most ordinary true immortal, it can temporarily save me from the risk of being killed by the slaying immortal evil Qi. Thinking about it, Zhou Yuan held the three turns of the golden pill in his hand, feeling that his previous worries had finally dissipated a lot. After the three transformations of the golden elixir, the second reward excited Zhou Yuan even more. The innate Tao body of the human race. It sounds ordinary, after all, from the memory of its predecessors, the human race in the three realms, although having the position of the protagonist of heaven and earth, cannot be considered a powerful existence. When it comes to cultivation talent, it is even more dismal. However, this so dot called human race with dismal talents is exclusive to the acquired human race. As for the human race that possesses innate Tao bodies, it is another different treatment. Because the innate human race is not a natural creature, but a first generation exclusive to the human race created by the sage and Yuwa. It carries the aura of an unparalleled immortal spirit, and although its cultivation speed may not be among the top in the world, it is still relatively speaking, after all, there is an upper level existence. This is the highest holy body of the human race. Based on the vague information known from our predecessors, there is basically no great opportunity or atmospheric luck, and it is impossible to achieve anything. Good luck. Firstly, there are three transformations of the golden elixir, followed by the highest holy body of the adult race. In this way, not only have the initial cultivation resources been resolved, but also the potential and cultivation speed in the future are no longer a problem. At first glance, I really have to persevere with the work of the executioner on the Xiantai. And it's better not to spend 3,000 years, but 30,000 years, 300,000 years. If we just keep working silently like this, I'm afraid becoming a saint and ancestor is not a dream. Chapter 4 Crazy Slaying of Immortals The Tao Level Martial Arts 
You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 4 Crazy Slaying of Immortals The Tao Level Martial Arts After reviewing your rewards, the next step is naturally to report. There's nothing to say about this process, it's just about overcoming one's own psychological barriers. The only problem was that when Zhou Yuan completed his report, he found that among the twelve or thirteen people who had come with him before, including himself, only three of them managed to survive. Even Zhao Fang, who had previously signaled Zhou Yuan to wake up, failed. Less than a quarter retention rate. And it's just the retention rate for the first task, which is really a bit shocking. Zhou Yuan, with complex emotions, understood that executioners like them perform tasks once a month, and then took the token back to the residence reassigned to him by the slaying immortal terrace, thus settling down in the heavenly court. The mission of slaying immortals once a month is perfect for me to digest rewards. Zhou Yuan sat in the room, feeling his emotions and choosing to extract the human innate Tao body. Thorny. Unable to explain what he felt, Zhou Yuan suddenly realized that his body seemed to have changed. An unprecedented sense of lightness made him feel a bit ethereal, and his mind relaxed beyond measure. There was not much movement, and the moistening was silent. Silently, Zhou Yuan had undergone a complete transformation from the inside out. This feeling is like a blind person suddenly having their eyes fixed and a deaf person suddenly being able to hear a voice. It's hard to express, but it changes a person's life. Immersed in the ultimate relaxation for a long time, Zhou Yuan regained his focus and felt that there were many more presents by his side that he had never noticed before. That is the spiritual machine and energy of heaven and earth. When Zhou Yuan was still a descendant of the human race, he had not experienced any special cultivation and could not feel this ubiquitous strange existence. But now, only after transforming into the original innate human race, the supreme holy body of the human race, and not yet practicing a single penny, the spiritual machine of heaven and earth has already opened its embrace to him. The difference between the two is so great that words alone cannot describe it. If it weren't for this innate Tao body, a month would probably be just enough to take the first step of introducing spirits into the body. That still being in a realm with abundant spiritual energy like the heavenly court. If it were to be in a place where spiritual energy is lacking in the mortal world, not to mention a month, even if it's three, five, or even thirty or fifty years, it may not be possible to succeed. Zhou Yuan thought and tidied up his mood, taking out the three revolutions golden pill. After thinking for a moment, he still pushed down the golden pill directly. Boom! This swallow is really amazing. At this moment, Zhou Yuan only felt a sun suddenly falling into his belly, and a scorching breath constantly erupted from the sun, spreading to his limbs and bones. It's over, it seems like I'm being careless. Sensing a constant burst of energy, Zhou Yuan's mind came up with such a thought. But only in the next moment, he felt as if his body had come to life, with 365 orifices all around him, all eager for the ability that erupted from the Three Transformations Golden Pill. The speed of devouring was so fast that even the energy of the golden elixir began to be insufficient. On Zhou Yuan's body, the activated body's hundred orifices not only coveted the energy of the golden elixir inwardly, but also began to violently grasp the outside world. Centered around Zhou Yuan, a spiritual vortex almost formed above his head. The terrifying ability of the innate Tao body is undoubtedly revealed at this moment. Three days and three nights. From Zhou Yuan swallowing the golden elixir to his awakening from his obsession with cultivation, three days and three nights passed directly. At this moment, Zhou Yuan realized that his cultivation had already surpassed that of a mortal and entered the realm of true immortality transforming into immortality. True immortals are the lowest level immortals. Above the true immortals, there are earth immortals, followed by heavenly immortals, mystical immortals, tai mystical immortals, golden immortals, and so on. Sigh. Just three days and three nights, to become a true immortal from a mortal. And it's still without practicing martial arts. Zhou Yuan felt his own changes and was almost stunned. 
And he also found that after achieving true immortality, the three transformations golden pill in his body was not completely consumed, but continued to slowly improve Zhou Yuan at a very gentle speed. Cultivation is not a particularly urgent issue now. I should learn about the heavenly court and the three realms while practicing. Zhou Yuan sensed his own changes and after some thought, decided to go out and inquire about some basic information. If there were peace in the three realms, perhaps I could take advantage of my vacation and leave the heavenly court to make waves in the human world. They are already immortals. Isn't it a waste not to show off the power of helping the needy to ordinary people? When going out, Zhou Yuan's mood was high. However, by the time he returned, he was completely bewildered. Because during this brief inquiry, Zhou Yuan first figured out one thing, this is actually a wasteland world, and it is also a wasteland world where the gods have passed away. In other words, the current location of Zhou Yuan is the time node after the enfeoffment of the gods and before the journey to the west. It's over. After figuring out the time node where he was, Zhou Yuan's original intention of going out for a ride was instantly extinguished. This is a wasteland. This is a journey to the west. Even a little immortal dares to go out and surf. Isn't that looking for death? Wait, journey to the west. Slaying the immortal tower. Well, I won't encounter a monkey then, will I? When Zhou Yuan thought about it, he was completely numb. Although monkeys should belong to the demon class and should be punished in the DZ tribe, is it possible that monkeys will hold grudges and easily dismantle the Zhan Xian Tai when causing trouble in the heavenly palace? Zhou Yuan, who felt like he could lose his job in the monkey chaos of the heavenly palace at any time, and even be easily beaten into scum, felt quite complicated. However, ultimately these are distant things, and for the time being, he cannot interfere with anything, so he can only continue to practice in seclusion. Immortal Immortal mid-term True immortal late stage The pinnacle of immortality Breaking through the earth immortal Relying on the qualification of the human race's supreme holy body and the subsequent medicinal power of the three transformations golden pill, Zhou Yuan's cultivation was like riding a rocket. With a few swish 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 swish, he unexpectedly broke through to the realm of the earth immortal. So, that's the benefit of following the crowd. A month passed by in a flash. When Zhou Yuan stepped into the Zhangxi Antai again, he had a new feeling about the surroundings because he was no longer immortal. The killing of countless immortals, Buddhas, demons, and demons on this immortal slaying platform is so intense that it can scare people to death. We, the executioner, may only bear one in ten thousand, and the rest will be suppressed and confined by the heavenly court in the Xientai. After much consideration, Zhou Yuan walked up to the top and beheaded the Xientai. After successfully slaying a heavenly immortal. At this moment, the Hongmang illustrated mirror gave Zhou Yuan another surprise, the Tao level martial arts, Hongmeng Ju. Chapter 5 Shaking the Immortal Tower, Three Altars of Sea Meeting Gods You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 5 Shaking the Immortal Tower, Three Altars of Sea Meeting Gods With the help of his cultivation, which was no longer ordinary at this moment, Zhou Yuan barely caught a glimpse of the true face of the slaying immortal platform. This is not only the place where endless immortals, Buddhas, and demons have been slain, but also a terrifying place that suppresses infinite evil energy. If it weren't for the overall suppression of the heavenly court, I'm afraid the burst of evil energy would directly cause the executioners, supervisors, and so on in the entire immortal slaying platform to suffer heavy casualties. Moreover, Zhou Yuan also discovered an unusual aura somewhere in the Zhangxi Antai relying solely on induction, it is like a central existence that regulates and combs out the escaping evil energy. This discovery made Zhou Yuan couldn't help but take a few glances at that place. But that's all there is to it. Although Zhou Yuan has also risen from a mortal to become an immortal, this is not much in the heavenly court. So he didn't think too much and continued his work. Slash the immortal. Heavenly immortal. 
After Zhou Yuan killed the heavenly immortal in front of him, he grew up and became familiar with him twice. This time, he didn't have any hesitation and quickly completed the task and left. And the Hongmang illustrated mirror gave Zhou Yuan a huge surprise after completing his task. The Dao level martial arts, Hongmang Ju, until the existence of Hun Yuan. When Zhou Yuan saw this reward himself, he almost couldn't help but roar three times in the sky to express his surprise. What is the most important thing in cultivation? The most fundamental thing is, of course, natural talent. And then there is nothing but wealth and law. Talent, Zhou Yuan has now achieved the supreme body of the human race, with a natural and limitless future. In the realm of wealth and law. Dao couple doesn't need to think about it for now. But wealth can be harvested from the Hongmang illustrated mirror, as evidenced by the previous three transformations of the golden elixir. Earth is both a dojo and a blessed place. Now that Zhou Yuan is in the heavenly court, it is unimaginable that he has abundant spiritual energy. As long as he does not leave the position of the executioner for a day, he does not have to worry about this problem. And you should know that Zhou Yuan has signed a contract for 3,000 years, which means that as long as there are no accidents, he doesn't have to worry about his training place for 3,000 years. The fundamental method of cultivation is the only one, which was a bit troublesome for Zhou Yuan before. After all, martial arts are not just cabbage. You can pick up a few at will, and powerful martial arts are the top priority cherished by various forces and immortals. Don't think about it in your spare time. Now it's good, and in the blink of an eye, the technique has also been mastered. Still pointing directly at the Dao level martial arts of Hun Yuan, this is simply invincible. Junxian, Dixian, Tianxian, Xianxian, Tai Xianxian, Jingxian, Tai Jingxian, Daoyuo Jingxian, Hunyuan Daoyuo Jingxian. Looking at the clear statement in Hongmeng Ju that one can start practicing from being a true immortal, and each level of cultivation can yield one level of powerful divine power, until reaching the ninth level of achievement, achieving the ultimate terrifying effect of mixing elements. Zhou Yuan smiled. The future is limitless, this is truly limitless. In the following days, Zhou Yuan remained very low. Key. Apart from the monthly task of slaying immortals, he spends most of his time practicing in his room and only occasionally goes out to find a few familiar colleagues from the slaying immortal platform to gather information. After all, this is a journey to the west, Zhou Yuan must figure out when the monkeys will cause a big disturbance in the heavenly palace. He was already prepared to be careful when he noticed something was wrong, so as not to accidentally suffer an accident and cry uncontrollably. The regular time always passed quickly. Finally, when Zhou Yuan's cultivation broke through to the middle stage of the earth immortal realm, he once again skillfully beheaded the human character section of the immortal terrace, preparing to complete his own month's beheading. However, he saw an extra child next to the supervisor. Not right. It shouldn't be said that there is an extra child next to the eunuch, but rather that the eunuch is accompanying that child, standing in the hall waiting for something. This child is. Zhou Yuan actually didn't know each other, he just had some thought subconsciously when he saw the image of him with red silk wrapped around his arm and a gold bracelet. Before Zhou Yuan could come to his senses, he heard the eunuch say. Third prince, this is what I previously referred to as Zhou Yuan. He is an elite member of our human character department and should be the most suitable executioner to complete this mission. Not bad, Zhou Yuan has become an elite in these days. Although only the lowest level elite. But the reason behind this is somewhat bleak. Part of it is because Zhou Yuan can successfully complete the Zhan Zhan Xian every time. Another part is because the elimination rate of executioners is really too high. 70% to 80% of newcomers cannot survive the first time, and among the remaining 10, not 1 in 10 may be able to complete tasks more than 5 times. More than that, almost every time someone falls down. And now, Zhou Yuan has completed 8 times. After a little calculation, it's basically only possible to have 1 week's worth of money out of a 100. If this is not an elite, 
what kind of existence can be called an elite? Um, Zhou Yuan. The child, known as the third prince, appeared to exist. He looked up and down at Zhou Yuan, his eyes twitched slightly, and then nodded and said. The cultivation is not bad, and the body is not heavily stained with evil energy, which is indeed very suitable. Upon hearing these words, the eunuch's smile deepened. Zhou Yuan, why don't you hurry up and pay respects to the three altars of the sea god? With a smile on his face, the supervisor urged Zhou Yuan repeatedly. San Tan Hai Hui De Shen. Neza. When Zhou Yuan heard this name, he was also surprised. It was a person who had once killed the three realms with fear during the great apocalypse of the gods. After being in theft as a god, he was bestowed the title of three altars of the great god of the sea, with an extraordinary and remarkable reputation. I didn't expect to see him at the Zangxiantai. Needless to say, this time when I come here, suppressing and beheading Xiantai is the second most important thing, and the key is still the Sin Immortal in front of me. She is a female immortal from the West Kunlun Mountains. Although her cultivation is not high, her relationship is not insignificant, and there must be no loss. Since the supervisor of the Ministry of Human Characters recommends you, you must complete the task seriously and avoid any accidents. Neza didn't wait for Zhou Yuan to pay his respects, so he waved his hand to avoid the formalities and emphasized the importance of the task. West Kunlun A Fairy Neza emphasized the importance of the task, but did not elaborate on why it was important, but a name automatically popped up in Zhou Yuan's mind. Queen Mother of the West she used to be the top female immortal in the world. And after the fall of the Eastern Prince that year, he accepted the loyalty of some male immortals from all over the world. To some extent, it can even be considered a small heavenly court, a feudal lord who absolutely listens to the tune but does not listen to the proclamation. Now, surprisingly, I want to slay the female immortal under the Queen Mother of the West Throne. Zhou Yuan was not aware of any hidden information inside, but based solely on this, he sensed some unusual meaning. But now is obviously not the time when Zhou Yuan can speak, so he just silently followed Neza behind him, walking towards his own Jia 49 Zhan Xian Tai. Chapter 6 Qi Enters the Body, and the Restless Heaven and Earth You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 6 Qi enters the body, and the impending calamity of heaven and earth. When Zhou Yuan saw the Kunlun female fairy at first glance, he immediately realized that she was different from the Sin fairy he had killed before. There is an unusual aura on the body of the Kunlun fairy. You should know that Zhou Yuan is no longer what he used to be. When he first crossed over, he was just an ordinary person, but now he has already existed in the middle stage of the earth immortal. Spiritual sensitivity is vastly different from that of mortals. This fairy doesn't seem to have violated the rules. Thinking this way, Zhou Yuan couldn't help but feel his eyelids twitching and his scalp tingling. Not violating the existence of Tiantiao, but also being pulled to the immortal slaying platform for a walk, can only indicate that what the female fairy has violated is a more serious problem than committing Tiantiao. You don't have to think about it, just a little brain rotation will make you understand. The mind is complex. But in the end, Zhou Yuan still walked onto the Zangxiantai. Speaking of the Sin Immortal that Zhou Yuan had seen before, after arriving at the Slaying Immortal Terrace, all he showed was walking straight under the guillotine and lying down without saying a word. It doesn't look like it's in a normal state, but rather like it's being restrained by Ling Hui. But now, although the fairy has also put her neck on the guillotine, she can speak. You must be a pure-blooded human if you can serve as the executioner in this, human character, section of the Xientai. The fairy said something. It's not asking, it's not questioning, it's just a simple statement. Zhou Yuan didn't know what he meant, and remembered Neza's instructions before. At this moment, he remained silent and waited for the time to come. Do you know why I was beheaded? Kunlun Fairy said again. Zhou Yuan remained silent. 
the Kunlun fairy saw Zhou Yuan's defense at the moment and didn't care, continuing to talk to herself. Because I took the initiative to bring in the calamity energy into my body. Only after the fairy's words spoke, Zhou Yuan took a step back directly. Gudong. As he stepped back, Zhou Yuan couldn't help but be shocked and instinctively swallowed a mouthful of saliva. Now he is not the novice who has just arrived in the heavenly court. As an earth immortal, and also aware that he is now a flood and wilderness earth immortal at a time point before his journey to the west, Zhou Yuan is certainly very concerned about various information about the amount of calamity. What is a quantitative calamity? What is Jie Qi? Jie Qi is the karmic power of all living beings. Quantitative calamity refers to the accumulation of karma to the limit, triggering the rules of the heavenly way, and descending the divine killing calamity. The vast expanse of the vast expanse of heaven and earth, where living beings thrive endlessly, allows great supernatural beings to dominate the world and roam freely. However, as the saying goes, all things are born to support humans, and humans have nothing to repay the heavens. Living beings living in heaven and earth often consciously or unconsciously create sins. Although this sin is insignificant in personal terms. But the weight of the accumulated karma is simply unimaginable, with billions of boundless and boundless creatures in the wilderness, accumulated over time. So there needs to be a divine calamity to dissipate this karma. At the same time, it is also in the process of countless divine killings and tribulations that the heavenly way further develops and improves. To some extent, this is also the only way for living beings to give back to heaven and earth after seizing their resources. The so dot called quantity calamity and calamity chi actually have different manifestations in different worlds. If it is a weak world, the operation of the heavenly way is only a simple aggregation of rules, so when the so dot called quantity calamity erupts, it can only be manifested through natural laws. For example, if the environment is severely damaged and natural imbalances occur, extreme weather and climate anomalies will occur, and then complex systems will operate to further induce earthquakes, tsunamis, floods, and droughts. However, it is difficult to say whether disasters under the operation of natural laws can harm living beings. It is not impossible to force through with sufficient means. However, in a world as powerful as a flood, the performance is different. The most obvious calamity energy and karma. In the lower world, in the ordinary world, it is a delusion. But in the midst of the wilderness, once the accumulation of karma and calamity reaches a certain threshold, it will immediately unconsciously invade every creature that cannot be transcended. Let it either actively or passively fall into the catastrophe. As for the fate of life and death after falling into it, it all depends on personal accumulation. But to avoid it perfectly, it is simply impossible. In short, destructive karma is created by endless beings. It is the resentment accumulated by endless immortals, Buddhas, demons, and demons. Continuously accumulating in daily life, like an active volcano silently operating underground. When there is enough accumulation, it will eventually erupt, forming a quantity crisis. After the appearance of the quantity calamity, it will only dissolve after enough creatures have died. However, quantity calamity is a calamity, but it is also an opportunity. After all, in a crisis, danger always accompanies opportunity. So in all the major disasters, there have often been instances of carp leaping over the dragon gate and achieving immediate success. Therefore, there will always be people with great confidence and ambition who choose to actively intervene in the crisis. Zhou Yuan was precisely because he knew these things, so at this moment, he listened to the Kunlun female fairy say that she took the initiative to absorb the calamity energy into her body, and immediately understood its meaning, which was why she was startled and took two steps back. Originally, the so dot called Journey to the West calamity was only a small part of this great calamity. The Heavenly and Earth calamity had already begun to show signs and was about to stir up even before the shadow of the Journey to the West appeared at this moment. Zhou Yuan was somewhat shocked, but then he felt normal again. 
how many places and stories have been written during the journey to the West. And with endless floods and tribulations sweeping across the heavens and earth, all sentient beings are bound to be drawn into it. Such a magnificent and magnificent scene cannot be summarized in just one book, Journey to the West. But just a book about Journey to the West, there are traces of the interplay among the three forces of Buddhism, Taoism, and the Heavenly Court, which can be considered as the strongest forces in the current chaos. What is the scene beyond its inability to record content? Of course, these issues can be considered later. The key is that if the chi of the calamity is killed, although it will also consume some parts, more will be transferred. That is to say, if Zhou Yuan kills the female immortal, even with the suppression of the heavenly court and the immortal slaying platform, he will also be infected with the evil energy of Liang Jia, and thus be involved in Liang Jia at this time. This is the real fatal problem. When the calamity enters the body and the ignorant spiritual consciousness, it is uncertain when Zhou Yuan will make a wrong and fatal decision due to this. Is that okay? There is no other way than to kill. The rules are here, the task falls on him, and if he doesn't kill, it's equivalent to being an accomplice. When the time comes, not only the fairy will lie under the guillotine, but also Zhou Yuan will be with her. I was so scared when I heard the enemy's aura enter my body. I'm really a cowardly rat. No wonder, as a pure-blooded human race, we have to make dogs for the heavenly court. Kill me, just give me one more look at you, you idiot, it's just staining my eyes. As the fairy spoke, she ignored Zhou Yuan's bewildered expression and closed her eyes, waiting to die. Chapter 7 It's time to commend. Catastrophe is imminent. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 7 It's time to commend. Catastrophe is imminent. For the final words of the Kunlun female immortal, Zhou Yuanjin looked bewildered and had no idea where he started speaking. After all, based solely on the memories of our predecessors, the human race's situation, which is an average state, cannot be said to be good, but there is also nothing obviously bad. In a daze, Zhou Yuan wanted to ask this fairy something. Unfortunately, it was at this moment when time had come and there was no other choice but to push the guillotine with a heart full of confusion and vigilance. With a click. The head falls to the ground. After slaying the female immortal, Zhou Yuan reached out and grabbed the opponent's head. When his mana reached its limit, he had to run away directly. The reason for doing this is, of course, due to the calamity of Qi. Previously, the Kunlun female immortal had already made it clear that she was the ruthless person who actively received and introduced the calamity energy into her body, and the calamity energy would not disappear due to the death of the host. Instead, it would be partially dissipated and directly transferred to the person who caused the cause and effect. Now, of course, it's Zhou Yuan who killed the female immortal. These pieces of information were dug out by Zhou Yuan from the heavenly court during this period but he didn't know what the situation of the transfer of Qi was. Therefore, for now, he could only use his magic to cover himself, and then increase his speed to the limit, trying to take advantage of the lack of reaction from Qi and successfully run away. However, the high dot end level of the aura of calamity and causal karma clearly exceeded Zhou Yuan's understanding. He boosted his speed to the limit here, and his plan to run directly was not successful. Even though Zhou Yuan didn't see anything, he shuddered inexplicably, as if he had been targeted by a venomous snake. The venomous snake was baring its fangs, flicking its tongue, and hissing as it explored the location of Zhou Yuan. Watching, the next second is about to inject the venom into Zhou Yuan's body. This is so special. Zhou Yuan felt the arrival of karmic energy and wanted to entangle himself, so he wanted to cry without tears. You said he was a little executioner, why did he provoke such a terrifying thing in advance? If the great cataclysm of heaven and earth had already erupted, all beings would have been swept into it under the quantity cataclysm, and Zhou Yuan himself would not have been able to break free. But now, even though the great cataclysm was just about to break out, he actually wanted to go in. Who should I argue with? 
However, in an instant, Zhou Yuan suddenly realized a problem. By the way, I have already developed a sense and directly returned to my senses. Why is the Jia Qi still hovering outside my body and not directly infecting my mind and true spirit? Turning to his senses and realizing the problem, Zhou Yuan suddenly felt a surge of excitement. Yeah. Although he has never seen the situation where the demonic energy entangles the hearts of living beings, he shouldn't be as obvious as he is now, right? If this is so obvious, with so many great powers between heaven and earth, how can we think of ways to avoid it? Even if there is really no way to avoid it, after the calamity energy enters their bodies, they should always understand that they have fallen into a great calamity, and then find a secret place to isolate them for three to five thousand years, because it's not a difficult thing, is it? How could it lead to a state of being obsessed with qi and making wrong decisions at critical moments, resulting in a state of being completely defeated? Am I more special? Zhou Yuan thought to himself, concentrating and trying to directly see the existence of the calamity energy. But he was not successful. Just sensing, but not directly seeing, this is Zhou Yuan's current state. It was really hard to see clearly, so Zhou Yuan decided to use his own magic to sweep towards the location of the venomous snake transformed by the sense of calamity, using his dead horse as a living horse doctor. Shi La. It's hard to say what it felt like, but after a seemingly absent sound, Zhou Yuan felt like Sen Han, who was being targeted by a venomous snake and piercing his back, had disappeared. How could my magic be able to sweep away the evil energy? Is it because of the Hongmeng decision, or is it due to the innate Tao body of the human race or the Hongmeng illustrated mirror? This problem is clearly unclear. Zhou Yuan thought for a while and was really unclear, so he temporarily pressed his mind. Anyway, the aura of calamity has been swept away. He is temporarily safe. This is the most important thing. Carrying the head of a Kunlun female immortal, Zhou Yuan Ben was going to the main hall to report. But just as he walked out of the slaying immortal platform, he collided head dot on with the supervisor and Neza. They haven't left since Zhou Yuan entered the Jia 49 Zhan Xian Tai, but have been waiting outside. The third prince, the supervisor of the execution of officials, is fortunate enough not to disgrace his life. Zhou Yuan doesn't want anything else, just report directly. Not bad, not bad. You did a good job. The eunuch appeared very happy. But at this moment, Neza was looking up and down at Zhou Yuan. This kind of observation is not ordinary observation. Zhou Yuan could clearly see that when Neza looked at him, there were two flames rising in his eyes. In the flames, Zhou Yuan smelled the scent of karma, just like the previous calamity energy. You didn't actually have any sense of calamity on you. Neza looked for a while before finally speaking, but his tone was filled with surprise. Sure enough, I wiped it out. Zhou Yuan thought, feeling surprised in his heart, but his face only showed confusion. He opened his mouth and made a gesture of wanting to ask something. However, Neza waved his hand, just as he had not asked Zhou Yuan to do any tedious visitation before, and now there was no opportunity for him to inquire. You did a great job, killing this Kunlun female immortal is not a small contribution. I have always been meritorious, and this peach will serve as a reward for your execution. While speaking, Neza pulled out a peach and gave it to Zhou Yuan. Then he grabbed the head of the fairy and turned around to leave. The whole process was crisp and neat, without any dragging or dragging. Zhou Yuan experienced all of this, to be honest, he had an extra layer of confusion in his heart. He always felt that Neza's words just now seemed to reveal some key information, but he couldn't decipher it for a while. Since that's the case, it's better to keep it in your heart and slowly ponder, just like the last inexplicable words you said to the fairy before. Farewell to the eunuch, Zhou Yuan returned to his room and began to examine the Hongmeng illustrated mirror. The female immortal has the highest cultivation level among the sin immortals killed by Zhou Yuan, so she is now a single book. Skip other names and other information, focus on looking at their body height. The catastrophe is not far away, 
and both the heavenly court and Buddhism have begun to take action. It is said that they are going to end the cause and effect of the previous deity worship, and the flourishing of Buddhism is inevitable. If they don't work hard at this moment, they will inevitably sink with the flow. There was a lot of messy information, and Zhou Yuan carefully read it several times before finally coming to only one conclusion. As the prelude to the catastrophe unfolds, 1500 years. Chapter 8 Heavenly Court Vibration, Celestial Executioner. Dot. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 8 Heavenly Court Vibration, Celestial Executioner. The farthest he returned to his room with a peach and checked the information of the fairy. He found that the beginning of the catastrophe was only 1,500 years away, and his urgency immediately increased. He didn't forget the monkey figure that flashed through his mind at the beginning when he found himself working as an executioner in the Sientai. From the current situation, during his 300 year contract period, he will definitely collide with monkeys and cause chaos in the Heavenly Palace. If the monkeys hold grudges and want to destroy and slay the immortal platform, Zhou Yuan himself may not have enough strength to escape and protect himself, and it is uncertain that something bad will happen. He is not sure if after a reincarnation, the Hongmeng illustrated mirror will still follow him. Besides, he is currently in the middle stage of the Earth Immortal period, and it is hard to say that he has the same lifespan as the heavens. He is still stable in his immortality. It is inevitable that one is unwilling to go through the cycle of reincarnation for no reason. Knowing the urgency of time, Zhou Yuan dared not waste his time and directly received the reward for killing the female immortal. Ling Bao, Kunlun Jade, very good and distinctive. After a brief glance, the effect is hidden within the primordial spirit, which can suppress the inner spirit, guard against external demons, and resist the impact of primordial spirits below the level of heavenly immortals. A defensive treasure, quite good. After a brief glance, Zhou Yuan refined the Kunlun Jade into his soul and indeed felt a warm breath permeating his mind, giving birth to a hazy and clear light. This is actually a good treasure, and when I go to slay Sendai later, the impact of the evil will also be slightly reduced. The ferocious aura generated by killing immortals is the fierce wolf that all the executioners of the Sientai are relentlessly chasing after. Now, Kunlun Jade is also quite compatible with Zhou Yuan. Refining the Kunlun Jade, the next step is naturally to take out the peaches given by Neza. In Journey to the West, it is said that there are 3,600 peach trees in the Tianting Peach Garden. There are 1,200 plants in the front, with small flowers and fruits. They ripen once every 3,000 years. After eating them, people become immortal and their physical fitness is light. There are 1,200 plants in the middle, with layers of sweet and fruity flowers that ripen every 6,000 years. After eating the rosy clouds, people will soar and live forever. There are 1,200 plants in the back, with purple stripes and a core. They ripen once every 9,000 years, and people eat them to live the same life as heaven and earth. The sun and moon are in the same year. The one that Neza gave Zhou Yuan now is undoubtedly the first one. However, even so, it is still a good reward. After all, according to normal circumstances, not every immortal can eat peaches in the heavenly court. Only when the Queen Mother's birthday is celebrated and the peach festival is held, will people be sent to pick and provide them to the invited immortals. Zhou Yuan definitely doesn't have this qualification now. Eating one of them with Neza's light is already a profit. Unfortunately, it's not one of the legendary, ten great spiritual roots of the wild, but rather the fruit of the peach tree itself. Otherwise, it would be really going against the heavens. Eating flat peaches, Zhou Yuan felt somewhat unsatisfied with thoughts. Then, a spiritual machine began to rise in the stomach. Hmm. Although this peach is the lowest in the heavenly court, it is ultimately a spiritual fruit, and abundant spiritual energy is inevitable. Zhou Yuan was already prepared. At the moment when the spiritual machine ascended, it activated the Hongmeng decision and began to cultivate. 
Time slowly passed, and Zhou Yuan did not notice it during his cultivation. In fact, at this moment, there was already a slight vibration within the heavenly court because he had successfully killed the Kunlun female immortal but had not been infected with the Qi of Calamity. Especially within the shaping immortal terrace, the news spread from the mouth of the executioner made everyone pay attention to his existence as a human character, a world.class elite executioner. The legend of Zhou Yuan began to circulate. Slash the depths of the immortal platform. I didn't expect the character department to discover such a good seedling this time. Even the calamity energy couldn't get close to him, I'm afraid there is really natural and atmospheric luck in him. In a building inside the Zhangxiantai, which Zhou Yuan had never been to before, a voice spread with a huge roar echoing inside the main hall. Indeed, in my opinion, this person's ability is not small. He is only a small U level executioner and somewhat talented. It's better to elevate his level. I don't know what you think. There was a voice that came to mind, with a strange smell. When speaking, there were always whirring sounds echoing in the main hall, causing several gusts of wind out of thin air. Sure. I agree. It doesn't matter. After this windy voice, several more voices came in one after another. What does the Lord of the Renzi Temple think? The sound of shouting continued, but it turned out to be a question. Since you have the intention of promotion, how could I refuse to let my own person be promoted? That's it. Zhou Yuan made outstanding contributions and was promoted to the rank of Zhou Level Executioner. The existence known as the Herringbone Temple Lord responds, but it is the one with the grand voice at the beginning. Zhou Yuan's room. He is currently practicing and absorbing the spiritual machine from the peaches. Although this peach is only the lowest type in the heavenly court, it ultimately grows in the peach orchard, accumulating spiritual power for 1,200 years from the final flowering and fruiting. Powerful in efficacy, naturally extraordinary. So only after finishing his meal, Zhou Yuan's previous promotion to the middle stage of the earth immortal cultivation has now been elevated again. Late stage of the earth immortals. Still an earthly immortal. Can it be the same for a mid-term or a later stage? Anyway, after only improving, Zhou Yuan felt that his magic power was surging and pure, surpassing ten times before. A kind of expansion that can break open the world as long as he reaches out his hand, is even more stirring in his heart. Hiss. Low dot key, calm down, just a small earthly immortal. It's nothing in the heavenly court, let alone in the entire wilderness. We are only 1,500 years away from the outbreak of the catastrophe, and we must not have any inflated thoughts at this time. It is deadly. Taking a deep breath, Zhou Yuan quickly muttered to himself, suppressing the inflated thoughts caused by the sudden increase in strength. After calculating the time, he found that it had been more than twenty days since he had slain the immortal before. Well, the next task is coming soon. Go out and inquire about the news again. Zhou Yuan thought. As soon as I opened the door, I heard the chirping of Jiu Jiu. A green bird stopped in front of him. Zhou Yuan, a renowned executioner with the character Ren, was diligent and self-motivated, and made outstanding contributions. He was specially promoted to the rank of Zhou Executioner, with a prize of one pill and two spiritual fruits to honor his achievements. The green bird spoke up and stabbed, shaking off two wisps of spiritual light from its body. There is a token of a cosmic level executioner inside a group. The other group is the golden elixir and spirit fruit. As Zhou Yuan watched as he took the token and reward and quickly transformed into a blue light to escape the disappearing bird, he blinked his eyes. If it weren't for the physical object still in his hand, he would never have believed that the surprise would come so suddenly. Just taking a breath out of the door, I was caught off guard and upgraded to the level of a cosmic executioner. P.S. Chapter 8 Today is ten more stable. Finally, kneel down and beg for a hundred flowers and a reward. In some cases, the author won't sleep today, and twenty is even more explosive. Chapter 9 
Borrowers from the Ministry of Land. 10 Golden Pills. No. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 9. Borrowers from the Ministry of Land. 10 Golden Pills. Zhou Yuan originally planned to go out and inquire to see if there was any new news. But now he has suddenly been promoted to become a cosmic level executioner, and he has obtained a golden pill and two spiritual fruits, so he cannot waste them. So return to the original place and practice again. Jean Dan, it's just an ordinary Jean Dan without even a single spin. Lingua is also very average, which is incomparable to flat peaches. From this, it can be seen that Zhou Yuan's previous acquisition of the Three Transformations Golden Elixir and Pantau was truly a stroke of luck. The process needs no further explanation. With previous experience, now absorbing the Golden Elixir and Spirit Fruit is just a routine. Afterwards, Zhou Yuan went to Zhangxiantai to prepare for the execution mission. Zhou Yuan he was immediately stopped by the beheading officer as soon as he entered. I have seen the beheading officer. Zhou Yuan bowed his hand and saluted. Speaking of which, Zhou Yuan has been slaying Xiantai for quite some time, but he still knows very little about the supervisor who handed over to them, not even their name. It seems that no one else knows that all the people Zhou Yuan knew in the immortal slaying platform were called by the supervising officials, as if there were some secrets. However, Zhou Yuan had no intention of exploring these, so he just followed others in a proper manner and called for the beheading officer. Just in the past, when Zhou Yuan came to the Xiantai to slay, there was no handover or anything like that. All the orders were given by the beheading officer, and he went directly to his own armor to slay the Xiantai and push the guillotine to complete the task. But today, the supervising officer took the initiative to stop Zhou Yuan. You come with me. The supervisor stopped Zhou Yuan and turned around to walk another way. Ha! Huh. Watching the actions of the beheading officer, Zhou Yuan couldn't help but be somewhat surprised. He recognized this road as leading to the dizzy section. In the past, Zhou Yuan did not pass by, but now the supervising officer suddenly leads him towards the dizzy section. What does this mean? Did I get transferred from the character department after upgrading? There was a doubt in his heart. Zhou Yuan's movements were not slow, so he followed the supervisor and walked forward. Not long after, he saw someone dressed similarly to the eunuch and came out to see the two of them. Are you Zhou Yuan? That could be the guy from the DZ Bujian Zhang Guan, who asked Zhou Yuan in a gentle tone. It's exactly me. Zhou Yuan is very humble. Indeed, you are a talented person. We entered the hands of the executioner of the slaying immortal platform together, and you were the first to be promoted to the level of the universe. The supervisor of the local character department praised it. Is my fame so great? Zhou Yuan felt a little proud when he heard the other person's words. This is human nature, and there is nothing to suppress. I called you over this time because my calligraphy department needs your help. After praising Zhou Yuan in two sentences, the supervisor of the local character department did not make any further pleasantries and immediately turned to the main topic. The main topic is also very simple. Because Zhou Yuan had killed the Kunlun female immortal who had entered the body with the Qi of robbery before, but was not contaminated by the Qi of robbery, the DZ Bu also wanted him to draw a gourd like this and help to slay a large demon that had been contaminated with the Qi of robbery. What? Upon hearing the other person's words, Zhou Yuan almost immediately shook his head. Just kidding. Although he did use his own magic last time to wipe out the evil energy transferred from the Kunlun female fairy, Zhou Yuan still doesn't know what secrets are involved especially from the information that Kunlun female immortals appeared in the Hongmang illustrated mirror, Zhou Yuan also knew that it was only 1,500 years before the beginning of the catastrophe. In this situation, he doesn't want to be contaminated with any karmic energy or karma. If the task of the human character department is assigned to oneself and cannot be shirked, it's okay. 
Without any reason, Zhou Yuan still needs to help other departments and get involved in such dangerous things. He doesn't want to do it no matter what. Of course, being busy doesn't mean letting you help in vain. When Zhou Yuan was about to refuse with his mouth open, the supervisor of the local character department continued to say. Ten pills of golden elixir in one spin. Hmm. If Zhou Yuan wants to refuse, he immediately can't find a way out. I don't know how good the golden elixir is if I haven't eaten it before. But Zhou Yuan, on the other hand, had taken one pill of San Juan Jin Dan and one pill of ordinary Jin Dan. He had a solid understanding of the efficacy of Jin Dan. Ten pills per turn may not be as good as one pill with three turns, but compared to ordinary pills, their effectiveness is more than a hundred times. Think about Zhou Yuan's promotion from a cosmic level executioner to a cosmic level executioner, and the official reward given by the slaying immortal platform is just an ordinary golden pill, plus two ordinary spiritual fruits. In the blink of an eye, there is a hundred times more gain than the former. It's really. It's hard to refuse. M. Zhou Yuan pondered. After careful calculation, this transaction is not impossible. Although he still knows the truth and doesn't know the reason at this moment, he still knows how to compare the consumption of mana and looting qi. From the previous situation, it was actually not very difficult. Moreover, Zhou Yuan was only in the middle stage of the Earth Immortal period before, but now it is already in the later stage. With stronger mana and Kunlun Jade body protection, this deal is very promising. Okay. Zhou Yuan agreed. The other party has given too much, and if they refuse, their heart will ache to death. However, the chief executioner, I have a question. Why do I need to be a new executioner to execute such a large land? Zhou Yuan asked. Well, naturally it's because Zhou Yuan has a unique talent that others cannot match. That demon has been tainted with the aura of calamity. Once killed, the executioner will definitely be 100% tainted. If it's normal, our character will naturally have to endure it. But now that we have Zhou Yuan, the losses can be avoided if possible. The supervisor of the DZ booth spoke slowly to Zhou Yuan, without any special tone. But from his words, Zhou Yuan could still hear it. Good guy, emotions are something that others dare not kill, so let him take the lead. But on second thought, it's actually nothing. Anyway, his magic can sweep away the calamity energy, but there is actually no risk. I didn't want to get involved before, it was purely a psychological barrier that was difficult to overcome. But now, with the price of 10 pills turning into gold pills, any psychological barriers are just floating clouds. Just cut it off, isn't that what the executioner does? What kind of gods and demons do you care about him? With just one strike, it's all over. After Zhou Yuan quickly obtained the golden elixir, he returned to his Jia 49 slaying immortal platform and saw the big demon. The big demon is indeed a big demon. Although the neck was already stretched under the guillotine, a fierce aura still rushed towards the face. Kid, I remember you. The big demon watched Zhou Yuan enter and threatened. Oh. Zhou Yuan responded with a plain tone. Click. With a push of the guillotine, everything was done. Anyway, on the demon slaying platform, both form and spirit are slain. Worried about retaliation. It would be more realistic to see the rewards in the Hongmeng Illustrated Book PS, Chapter 9, today is 10 more stable. Finally, kneel down and beg for a hundred flowers and a reward. In some cases, the author won't sleep today, and 20 is even more explosive. Chapter 10 Hunyuan Level Divine Power, Dalau Cave Temple Dot. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. This translator is experiencing an error, please try another translator.